Yo, what is going on, you filthy frokies? Today, we're going to be playing some games with the new take on the Tina Chomp deck. This list just got top eight at the uh, regionals over in Malaysia, I believe. Um, yeah, it is a Tina Chomp deck. We've been seeing these uh, quite a bit recently. The difference between this Tina Chomp deck and other Tina Chomp decks before it is the four Weezings and four Roxies and three Lure Balls to reuse our Weezings in this deck specifically um so yeah the point of this deck um in some matchups is to just spread a lot with wheezing against like the pidgey control pidgey blounds malamar spread with the wheezings maybe we linear attack a little bit then we go into the fireworks bomb put 12 more damage counters in play and maybe close out the game with a second tina chomp um also what it does is in other matchups it allows us to kind of get damage in play in the same turn to utilize with calamitous slash so we can kind of do the full calamitous slash combo in one turn instead of having to go linear attack and then calamitous slash if we spread you know a couple times with roxy you know maybe turn two and turn three and we get off some of these uh, blow away bomb uh, abilities spread onto some i don't know uh adps twice let's say we use roxy for four wheezings over two turns that's 40 damage and then we can just go calamitous slash and knock out an adp something like that we also have a mimic in here to help us out with uh, the b2 matchup and keldeo um and yeah it is still a greens deck and that's about all i gotta say on the list this is by far my favorite deck to play with right now for sure this deck is super fun i definitely recommend you guys all try it out i've been just playing the list that made top eight at the regional um haven't really come up with too many things that i'd want to change uh, i kind of want a fourth dual ball but it hasn't been that in, that big of a uh big of a deal yet so i've been just running the exact same list that made top eight at the regional and it's been great a ton of fun like i said definitely recommend checking it out and yeah let's go ahead and get into some games all right we're up against the reshizard here in this one our opponent's playing uh greens greens reshizard there's a hearth turn one we unfortunately can't utilize that but our hand is pretty good we got a roxy plus a wheezing which is always cool to see and we got two greens um i think we're gonna open up with the greens we're gonna get a dusk stone and a energy spinner because i think we just want an energy for sure to attach to the tina chomp this turn let me take a look at the hand again and, uh treasure away a greens i guess exploration or maybe the caitlin and cynthia but i kind of like the caitlin and cynthia is a little bit more than the what's it called i think the greens um but they want to hold on to that yeah let's go with these two boop boop and then we will Treasure away the greens, like I said. Grab ourselves that. Uh, well, I guess I could have like got us guaranteed the turn to attack. So actually, maybe I should have kept the greens, or maybe the knockout. Uh, oops, should have kept the greens. It's fine. We'll be all right. Put that guy there, and then we're gonna go ahead and energy spinner and grab ourselves a psychic energy over the fighting because we can get the fighting uh, energy from the what's it called? Uh, the it's the card i can't remember what it is right now yeah well i got some hollow can also do it for us actually so we might still just be fine um all right we we'll set up our tina chomp i'm gonna go ahead and um could tag call don't really need a tag call yet yeah just gonna linear attack the rushy zard yeah there's no reason to tag call uh, yeah just linear attack the rushy zard set up that thing um we might go ahead and just ggn next turn actually through the guzma and hollow we'll kind of wait and see what our opponent has on their turn but the yeah gg end with guzman hala looks pretty good to me right here so we'll see where they welder to they're probably gonna hit us for 120 with the volcanian and put their energy on the rushes art on the bench and then we'll probably gg end the rushes are on the bench or we could not i don't know kind of decide based on what our opponent does here um but they don't have three energy on it so i guess i'm not too scared of it but it would flare strike us next turn uh yeah it would flare strike us next turn i guess that's kind of annoying so we could GG end it. We could just save GG end. We could just linear attack the Breaks and Zard if they put that on their bench. And then just go tag call for another call. Let's use Caitlyn and Cynthia for the turn. And there's a choice helmet. That is super annoying to have to deal with. Um, yeah, there's the 110 from the... Oh, what's it called? Well, Canyon. Um, I think I might just go with the Caitlyn and Cynthia, actually. Let's get back a greens. I can get rid of Guzma and Hala or let's tag call first i'm going to grab myself the last two things in the deck because i don't want to draw into those yeah we can go ahead and caitlin and cynthia away at guzman hala i think sure why not get rid of that guy get back this guy 
draw some cards. There's a rainbow. There's a karate belt. I was trying to think of what it's called. It's called karate belt. Um, bench this guy. I'm going to attach a rainbow to this guy. And then I'm going to do linear attack. Once again, it's only going to be for 10 damage, but I'm still going to linear attack Reshizard on the bench for the 10 damage. And I think we're in a pretty good spot here. We'll see what we top deck for turn, but then we can like Roxy's for six cards. So we have greens if we want to use greens instead. Our Calamitous Slash is doing uh, minus 30, so we're doing 110. So if we do the Roxy for the one wheezing, we actually will get the knockout on the Reshizard. If they hit us with the Volcanion, they don't knock us out quite yet. Um, but I suspect that they will probably be using Flare Strike this turn. There's the switch. Uh oh, they could actually go really big here. They could go switch and then Mallow and Lana and then uh, do it again. But I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to kill us. And that'll be fine. And then we will respond with Roxy using those two. Hopefully finding a reset stamp. That's the big card we'd want to find here in response to the current situation. Yeah, there's the Flare Strike knocking out our... Giratina Garchomp, like I said, that's fine that they do that, but uh, we would like a reset stamp because um, we can't currently knock them out with our current hand. Um, and do what's it called? There's a great catcher that's not going to do anything. So, yeah, we're going to start with the Roxy here, get rid of these two, draw some cards. We just need an energy. We got the energy. Yes, I would like to do 10 to everything. And the Karate Belt, that guy as well. And we can bench the Mistrevis. And I guess we really don't have much else to do besides Calamitous Slash for the knockout here. We do get the knockout, which is pretty cool, though, uh, because of the what's it called. Unfortunately, we did whiff the reset stamp. Um, but fortunately, our opponent can't actually knock us out back in response, which is cool. Um, so we're not going to get knocked out in response yet. The reset stamp would have been great to draw off that Roxy there. Unfortunately, we didn't draw it. But I think we can live with that overall. Not the biggest deal to not have drawn it there. And then... With our current hand, uh, we actually do just knock out the Breaks and Zard, but I have a feeling that they are probably going to reset stamp us here. Almost certainly going to reset stamp us here. Um, unless they just don't have access to a reset stamp, like we didn't have access to a reset stamp. Nope, but there's a reset stamp. Still possible for us to actually get the knockout on this on the next turn. Uh, we just need a lot more. There are the Roxies, there's the Greens. We're probably going to have to play the Greens for the turn. It actually means our uh, Gertina Garchomp is in a little bit of trouble because... Um, we do need to uh, probably GG end next turn. Um, really depends on what our opponent hits us with. They might hit us with the Break Some Star with a Brilliant Flare. If they don't, we can just go Reset Stamp. Uh, or we can go Mistrevious down to one, Reset Stamp, GG end this. And then we'll knock out this as our only Pokemon in play on the next turn. Um, so that'll actually put us in a pretty good spot because Green Star can't really do anything with just one card in hand. So we'll actually be in a pretty good spot if they do just go, yeah, for the High Heat Blast. Um, all right, I think we're in a pretty good spot then. We're gonna go like draw a card for turn. That's a baby blown, not great, but that's fine. We go into here, we get a treasure and a reset stamp. Going to treasure away one of the Roxies, I think. Uh, man, maybe the baby blown. Why not the baby blown? Let's get rid of the baby blown. I don't like the baby blown, anyways. And then we're gonna evolve this guy. Gonna go ahead and mysterious message draw four cards, put our opponent down to small cards uh after they draw their prize card with the reset stamp card and then we're going to gg end get rid of this guy off the bench and <clears throat> leave our opponent with just a volcanion and a one card hand let's see if they can come up with a response to this with a one card hand i don't think they'll be able to do it but we'll see what they got they got a lot of fire energy in their scrap pile a custom catcher is a good start I think what they're going to struggle with most here is actually just finding a, uh, a Pokemon to put on their bench on this next turn. Um, there's a Welder. All right, so they're going so, so far so good. Four energy on their Volcano. That is their third Welder, though, so they're actually just running out of ways to get energy in play along with everything else. And there's the High Heat Blast for the 110. But that's not going to be enough to win them the game. I'm going to get that Calamity Slash in the dub here over this Green Zard. Easy. All right, two games in a row we've opened up with this little rat. I'm tired of opening it up with the mischievous man. And unfortunately for us, we opened it up 
against the Malamar matchup, which is when we really want to open up the Tina Chomp. <clears throat> yeah, opening the Mischievous. We don't want to give up a Mischievous KO. We want to ideally just attack with um, one Tina Chomp into the Baby Blacephalon, into uh, uh, just using Roxy with the Baby Blacephalon, and then we can use a Mischievous. We'll be able to fix that, I think, as long as the Energy Spinners in the deck will be in a pretty good spot here. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking for at this point, is just the Energy Spinner. And I think we'll be okay. Top deck switch would be pretty good. Top deck energy spinner would be good. There's some good things to top deck, but yeah, I'm gonna try. I want to ideally try and play this pretty slow on our side of things. We don't want to be super aggressive in this matchup. We can just take our time, use our linear attack, go into the Blacephalon, and then we go into the Roxy combo. So yeah, gonna take our time here in this one. It'll be fine. All right, we're gonna greens for spinner and uh, tag call. They are in here. Uh, a tag call is here. It looks like the energy spinner is prized. Oh my gosh. All right, so we have no access to our energy unless we use Miss Magus, which I really don't want to do. Uh, but we might have to. And that kind of stinks because I really want to try and utilize Babel Cephalon. We can still utilize Babel Cephalon. It's just going to be a lot harder to utilize him. Um, so I guess we're gonna have to go with the Dusk Stone unless I can find something else, but I can't find anything else that we could possibly do. All right, it's gonna have to be the Dusk Stone then. Tag Call, gonna get our two Tina Chomps for the game. Um, we could go into the Malamana on next turn and actually heal one of them. And we could actually use three Miss Mages instead, and then that's how we could access the, what's it called? The, the Baby Blacephalon. Um, that's what that that could become our game plan actually, which wouldn't be the biggest deal ever. Um, we could just use three Miss Mages in a row, which is definitely reasonable to do. Use three Miss Mages, use uh, some Mallow and Lanas to heal our Tina Chomps, and go from there. Okay, we can we can try and make that our game plan instead, I guess. Um, wait for our opponent to draw their prize card here, and then we're gonna go ahead and put 40 damage on an Inkay. Or actually, we'll probably put the 40 damage on the Jirachi, because uh, this thing will always have 70 HP, whereas Malamars go up to 90 sometimes, which can be a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, just waiting for our opponent to, you know, draw their prize card here, ever. They want it. All right, there you go. You did it. All right, linear attack. Yeah, I'm going to hit up the Jirachi here. And then, like I said, I'm going to get the... Yeah, next turn, I'll greens for Mallow and Lana, plus a treasure probably and then we'll get this uh what's it called out the second miss mages it would be really nice if they whiffed an attack here um they don't have it quite set up i mean they have yeah, they have two psychic in the discard pile. they're pretty much set up to be able to attack with garatina this turn they have to like fail to find the garatina there's the second malamar there's an inke maybe they will whiff though uh they need a search card and an energy uh pokemon search card so they're looking for the communication they're looking for Switch isn't gonna do it. If we get an extra turn here, that would be huge. If we get an extra turn to work with, that would be a big deal here. But there's the treasure. I assume is gonna grab them. Yep, there's the Garatina. And then here goes the Garatina. I assume they probably have a Psychic in hand. If they don't, that's great. We get to uh, get an extra turn to work with. Um, but yeah, if I had to guess, I would assume they have one. Uh, but they do three shot our current active Tina Chomp, so we should be able to pull off the combo that I was talking about of. Uh, Getting into the baby blue stuff on as long as we're somebody somehow able to draw energy we haven't been able to draw energy that's what we're currently missing right now is energy cards that's it just energy cards that's all we need but we haven't been able to draw them hopefully over the next couple turns we will find some energy cards but there's another treasure they grabbed the mew i believe yep yeah, there's a mew and are they just gonna pass with jirachi in the active then it looks like tina Set up, they're gonna set up the Inke. This is fine with me. I didn't plan on taking a prize this turn. Anyways, a Mischievous is a perfect top deck. And then I'm going to play a Greens for two Mysterious Treasures to grab our Baby Blacephalon and a Miss Magus. And we're gonna have to use the Lure Ball to get the last Miss Magus, it looks like. I'm gonna get rid of a Reset Stamp. I don't think we need that anymore for the Magus. And I'm gonna Reset Stamp, or I'm gonna treasure away a Caitlyn and Cynthia, because I think I want the Greens more so and the, what's it called? I'm gonna get the Blacephalon here. We're gonna go Miss Mages here. Blacephalon here, draw four cards. Four cards, yeah. One, two, three, four. 
No, what's it called? Again, no energy. That kind of stinks. This uh, lack of energy spinner has been a big deal so far. Yeah, no energy spinner. Yeah, it's been a big deal. There's no other way to put it. No energy spinner has been a big deal so far. I really wish we had access to our energy spinner, but unfortunately, it's prized. If we had access to it, we'd be set up perfectly, though. We'd have been able to just play out of our opening hand with the energy spinner. It gets us three energy. Hard retreat on turn one. The counter game plus another energy. We go to this plus on and we start working up, building on the next Tina Chomp. Uh, but instead, uh, it's gotten kind of awkward. Uh, maybe our opponent whiffs another attack for a turn. That would be kind of cool. Nope, there's the retreat. Oh, but that's just a retreat. So they would need a switch card as well at this point. Break catcher up our other Tina Chomp here. Um, I assume that means, yeah, Psychic going to the discard pile. I mean, that's kind of annoying. Nothing we can do about it, though. We should be fine. Uh, still looking to build up into the baby Blacephalon, but this has become a little bit more awkward, I guess. But we're still fine. We're going to Roxy away two of these next turn because we need to find some energy for the baby Blacephalon. Uh, and our counter gain is stuck over here on this Tina Chomp. Um, so we just need energy on this next turn. We just need to find some energy. And then the next turn, we can play greens to get a lure ball to get a Miss Mages and get the switch and then switch this guy out of the active. Or if this gets us a tag call, we can just tag call into the Malo and Mana and heal this guy. Currently, he's set up so that he has to three shot this though. So that's pretty good for us. Um, oh, we do kind of need to Malo and Lana that, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well, we got the tag call. So. Malamana should be no problem. Discard some Weezings, do some damage on our opponent's side of the field. There's an energy finally, uh, but it's just one energy. We need more energy than that. Yeah, it's been a super unfortunate draw so far. I'm not gonna lie, this has been really bad. Really, really, really bad. Okay, so, um, yeah, weakness card energy goes here. Uh, Karate Belt goes here. Uh, I'm not gonna reset Stamper opponent quite yet. And then I think we just pass over to our opponent. Um, can't attack with linear attack because it only reduces the cost of fighting energy. We are gonna pass over to our opponent. Uh, still, We still should be fine, we still should be fine. Um, we can use another Roxy coming up. Yeah, we're gonna Malo and Lana heal our active. And yeah, there's that Shadow Impact. We're gonna go down to the one HP remaining, but that's fine, that's fine. There we go, 60 there. All right, draw for turn. Cynthia and Caitlyn. Not gonna do anything. This grab Mallow and Lana and the Tina Chomp. Put the Tina Chomp on the bench. We just need a psychic energy at this point. This uh gonna use the lure ball, hoping for not too many heads here. Unfortunately, we did get three heads. This is not the time where we want three heads. Um Mallow and Lana discard two things out of our hand. It's gonna be the Baba, I think, and the Greens. Um, rid of the Faba and a Bright Catcher. Do that. We're gonna switch into this guy. Actually, I think at this point, actually, we might not actually use what's it called now. Now that I'm kind of playing this one out, we might actually because this is gonna be no value at all. But now we're just gonna actually linear attack my opponent's active. Yeah, times have changed. We're linear attacking the active. And passing back over to Bona. And on this next turn, we're actually just going to Roxy. Well, either Cynthia and Caitlyn for the Mallow and Lana. Or we're just going to Roxy spread again. I think we might just Roxy spread again. There's a unfortunate Faba. And yeah, I think we're just going to Roxy and spread the damage again. Spread the love with the Roxy. There's the hard retreat to the Jirachi. So I assume that means that they top decked a switch this turn. So now they can move back to the Tina at the end of this turn if they really want to. Um, we'll see what they grab, though. Oh, well, there's a Lily. Well, they still might have the switch in hand, I guess. Like a triple second recharge switch. They would always switch before they play the Lily, though. So we'll see what they have. There's a psychic recharge. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to use this guy anymore. They did use, what, one great catcher? So bringing this guy back up might be kind of difficult. Uh, but yeah, psychic recharges are happening. So they definitely top deck switch on that turn. Because now they can switch back into the Tina. And then they can play the Lily to draw the extra card. And punch our Tina Chomp again um, for more damage. Uh, no, it looks like they whiffed the switch. Oh, wait, they played Faba for the turn. Oh, wow. All right. Um, could just Caitlyn and Cynthia. We're likely to draw an energy, and then we can get back a Roxy. And then we can also get the Mallow and Lana here. Get back. Oh, or no, get back a Mallow and Lana. I was saying get back a Roxy and get back a Mallow and Lana. You can't get two cards. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the one. Um, linear attacking doesn't really do anything, though. So we're just gonna go ahead and attach here and then pass over to our opponent. 
Let them have their turn. We're not going to free up any bench spaces for them. We're keeping their bench trapped. That is the game plan. Keep the bench trapped. Next turn, we could go... Um, I don't know, we got a lot of options on the next turn, I guess. We can go... Just Roxy, I think. I think we're just Roxy. Put two more to everything. They're about to reset stamp us. It's not going to be that big of a deal, I guess. They do. We do have a nine card hand, but um, if they reset stamp now as opposed to later, I'm actually fine with that. There's the reset stamp. Do lose our whole hand, but we got back what we needed in the Mallow and Lana. There's a Roxy. There's a Weezing. So that's all we really needed anyway. So we're still in a good spot here. Um, we can kind of knock out almost our whole board if we're able to get our switch. Um... So that's what we should look for here. We, if we do take a knockout here, we do free up a bench space because we knock out the Jirachi, which is kind of unfortunate. But hopefully we would draw a reset stamp and then reset stamp them down to three and then limit their options once again. Um, if they do knock out one Tina Chomp though, that's not that big of a deal. I'm not really too worried about them knocking out a single Tina Chomp. Um, that's kind of fine with me if that's what they knock out. Uh, we yeah, free up the bench space in the Jirachi, but there goes their second switch. So I'm fine with freeing up a bench space because they can't really hard retreat um get the energy off the tina psychic recharge it somewhere else and then also switch out of it now so that's a fine situation for me i am okay with this go ahead and punch their own malamar once again something that is also fine with me so we're gonna go ahead and roxy here are these guys draw some cards uh spread some damage Get that knockout on that Jirachi, which is kind of cool. We draw a reset stamp. We're definitely going to reset stamp our opponent here down a little bit lower, because especially because the extra one now. Then we're going to go to set up this Tina Chomp. We're not going to linear attack this turn, so we're just going to go ahead and attach a Psychic Energy here. And then we're going to go ahead and pass over to our opponent. And the next turn, we plan to use the Roxy once again, spread more damage. We'll actually knock out both all the Malamars and the Giratina. And the Mew will live with 10 HP. There's a Trevnor, but they just used their last switch, like I just mentioned. So they can't actually attack with the Trevnor this turn. I don't even think I'd be that scared if they could attack with the Trevnor this turn. Uh, but they can't do it. So I'm not scared. I'm definitely not scared at all that they could do it. So, yeah, I think we have this one pretty much locked up. I have no idea what our opponent could possibly ever do to ever come, have a comeback and win this game. Next turn, we're going to lure a ball. We just need one heads, get a Weezing back. And then we go Roxy's, discard both Weezing. Uh, game over. So here we go. Lure ball. Another triple heads. <laughs> Super unnecessary, but whatever. We'll take it. And then we go Roxy, discard both Weezing, draw six cards, and knock out all the Malamar and the Giratina. Uh, and we got the switch. So we can do the full combo here. And then we could have done the full combo here and got access to this guy's mysterious message, I think. We could go like switch, reset stamp, treasure, power plant. Yeah. Bench if we had to attach an energy. Uh, actually, we maybe wouldn't be able to get under seven cards to pop this and then use this guy. Um, but yeah, everything's getting knocked out here. Mew comes up and then knock out the Malamar. <laughs> and then we knock out another Malamar. Avoided spell tags at all points. The only attack we used so far is linear attack. And actually, we can keep it that way because we do have an energy. And they did send up the Mew. So we can just linear attack the Mew to close this one out here. And there's a the concession from our opponent. And that's going to do it for this video on the Tina Chomp Weezing Roxy deck. Like I said, I love this deck. This deck is super fun. Try it out, guys. It's super fun to play. There's so many cool things you can do with this deck in certain matchups. And your attacker is Tina Chomp. So that's kind of cool, too. But anyways, yeah. Check out the deck. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And peace.